On October 1st, 2013, Tom Clancy, the man who championed the modern military thriller, the man who has games named after him, the man who co-founded Red Storm Entertainment, passed away at the John Hopkins Hospital by his Baltimore home. It comes as quite a shock to me and to many other Tom Clancy fans as it's it's just it, I'm just sort of speechless that I, I, I found this out. Um, I, I was quite expecting more books coming out from him. He's got a book coming out in December. Uh, but I, I was fully prepared to see five to ten more books come from this man. He, it really is a shock. I, when I was younger, one of the first games I remember playing was Tom Clancy's Rogue Spear. Rainbow Six Rogue Spear. And this is Rainbow Six Raven Shield, the third one. And I figured as sort of a memorial and a, just to honor the man, I, I'd play the third Rainbow Six game. And uh, just just tell some experiences from my past with these games, Tom Clancy in general. And uh, well, I'll just remember the man that that he was. All right, I'm not too sure when this was introduced. This map, but it was quite. <laughs> it was really my favorite map to play in Rogue Spear. I'm not really sure if it was introduced in the first game or not. Okay, already shots fired. That's cool. Anyway, I, other than the Tom Clancy uh, Rainbow Six series, I fell in love with the Splinter Cell series, as I have made well aware that uh, it's, a, it's really an upset to see. Okay. keep moving. We'll deal with him later, but it's really an upset to see what has happened to the Splinter Cell series. For, I mean, the fact that it's it's associated with his name is, is sort of an insult, really. I, I don't think Tom Clancy would approve of the current uh, status of his games. I mean... The military apparently at one point saw actual fit use for his games, uh, some of the old games, to where they actually used some of it in training. Uh, I'm not too sure if I have any articles for that to put in the description, but if I find any, I definitely will. But these games have completely changed from the original mind. Rainbow Six in general, I think that's like the biggest one, has really changed from its infancy, and I just don't even enjoy the the current crop of games they have, and again, it just seems sort of an insult. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's see if we can get through this without losing a man. Yeah, the, as you can tell, games in 2003 weren't the brightest. But that's alright. It's still an amazing game for what it is. And it's very cheap on Steam. I think it's like 10 bucks. And especially when they do summer sales, winter sales, which is coming up by the way, not too long from now, they'll definitely have this on sale. And It's definitely something everyone should pick up. It's cheap and it's good. It's for some good fun. Some really cheap good fun. Oh, did I, I forget to... Where is everybody? Again, the technology of 2003 wasn't the brightest. Okay, where's the hostage? I'll pick you up. But, uh... There's actually still an online community for uh, Rogue Spear. At least there used to be in like 2012. I, as of recent, I have no idea the current status. 
but they did shut down the servers for this oh, this game or uh, not this game oh, oh I'm dead <laughs> oh asshole ooh okay uh, well that's sucks so we got the hostages at least Didn't expect that from happening. <sighs> yeah, very entertaining game. Well, there you have it. A very quick, clean, well, was going to be clean, mission of Rainbow Six Raven Shield. And I'm not too sure, actually, when they introduced that mission. But that's beside the point. Uh, I just... I really don't know what to say about uh, Tom Clancy's passing. He was a great man. And uh, let's hope that the book that's coming out in December just you know, blows it away. And with that being said, I'm out of here. See you guys later.